We're also tracking developing details tonight in the fight to fix Rhode Island's pension crisis. As we speak, a special hearing is taking place at the State House with members of both the House and Senate Finance Committees. It is the first of three joint hearings to discuss proposed pension reforms before debate hits the floor of the General Assembly later this year. And as legislators consider solutions such as raising their retirement age or reducing benefits for retired state employees, local labor unions are calling on the governor to keep his promise and protect their pensions. Eyewitness News reporter Nathan Uosu joins us live now with the latest developments. Susan, we did some digging and found during the campaign, Governor Lincoln Chafee promised not to change benefits for current retirees. But now it seems he's changed his tune. During a special taping of newsmakers back in July, Governor Lincoln Chafee said he would consider changes to retiree benefits. Yeah, of course. I mean, we've got to make some changes, particularly on the compounding of the interest in the coal is that's that's really the backbreaker. But on his website, candidate Chafee took a different stance. In his pension plan, he wrote the only change for vested employees would be a change in the disability rules. We found no mention of changes in benefits like cost of living adjustments. The governor made specific commitments when he campaigned for governor saying he would not change the pension system for active employees or retirees. Union leaders tell us they can no longer trust Chafee. We went looking for answers and caught up with the governor at an event in Providence. Chafee tells us his position has always been the same. Depends on how you define uh, what we're changing, whether it's the COLA or whether it's the exactly what they're getting. If someone's making 44000 for instance, as a retiree, are we going to change that? Uh, we'll have to see, but it's, uh, it's our hope that no, we're not going to change what an existing retiree is making. Uh, I've been very consistent. And I should note that when Chafee was running for office, Rhode Island's unfunded pension liability was $4.9 billion. Now it's up to $7.3 billion. Neka Nuosu, Eyewitness News.